I'm back in South Miami, Palmetto Bay. I'm gonna go pick up some live shiners from the bait shop. Hopefully they got some jumbos. Coming here from Baltimore again. It's 30 degrees when I left this morning from Baltimore and it's 80 degrees here and it's wonderful. I love it. We're gonna hook up on some nice fish. Beautiful day. Feels great, nice breeze. Let's go get them. Sir, this is so cool. Shout out Kendall Live Bait and Tackle. They got jumbos, large, everything you need. Come hit them up. Some live shrimp as well, too. So, if you need any of these guys. Come check out Kendall Live Bait and Tackle. So I got my shiners. There's some absolute big ones in here. Huge shiners. You'll see. Oh, look at that guy. It's huge. Alright. Got my reel. And still have my rod here. Hidden in the bush from last hidden in this tree from last time. So let's go get him. Well, almost forgot my sunblock. Let's get it. So these jumbo shiners are really, really active and they keep diving down deep on the edge of those cliffs. So my best bet is to stay here on this dock right now and go ahead and keep them away from that cliff before a fit, so that way a fish can get them before they get hooked on the cliff. So. Let's see how well this works out. Should be pretty good. Let's see. I'm gonna have to keep them out deep. Oh, that was something. Gonna hit it again. Unless if it was a turtle. Yeah, maybe it was a small fish. I see a group of them right here. Right down there. Yep. It's a group of peacocks right there. Okay. One. One hit it. Oh yeah. One of these are going to hit it. One of these are going to hit it. There he is. Not a big one, but we'll take him. First fish of the day. It's been pretty tough so far. Oh no. Oh, didn't want to do that. Well, first fish of the day. Gonna make long casts out there. Let the shiner do what he does. Hopefully find a big one. It's been pretty slow so far, but no worries. I know we're going to hook on to them. Alright. Thought I felt them. Not too big. A little guy. Oh no, he's bigger than I thought. Oh yeah, he's bigger than I thought. Oh, that's a nice one actually, yeah. That's a beautiful fish. Oh, 
That's your guy. He's got a little hump on his head. Not losing this one. Nice hump head. The, uh, this little hump on their head means they're sexually active right now. The bigger it is, the more sexually active they are. So this is a male. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Let's, let's get a good release on them. Okay. Well, second of many, so let's get some more. There's one. Not too nice, but it's, it's a fish. It's been a little rough, but there we go. Number three. Unfortunately, a lot of my shiners died because my bubbler ran out of battery. I have a bunch of dead shiners, and they're big ones too. And today just has not been too good, but I should hook up on some more of them. Honestly. Uh, I only have a few live shiners left. That are actually alive. So. This is going to be tough to finish it off. And try to get some bites. But I believe I can. I've been all the way around the pond. Twice now. Trying to locate fish. And only three so far. So. There's one. All right, it's a nice one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me wear you out a little bit, calm you down. So, hooked up on my fourth fish. Finally, uh, as I was saying, a lot of my shiners are dead, so I have a very few live ones left. And I've seen his buddy down there somewhere chasing him in, so I'm gonna see if I can get him to his buddy's right here. number five that's a nice two pounder maybe one and a half but no big and jet let's let him go Fish number five, not too bad for the day. It's been really tough, so I'm gonna keep on working. And let's see what else we can get. Hopefully we can get some big ones. 
So I'm gonna make my way around the pond one more time. And uh, this is round number two around. So I've only caught five fish. Pretty sure it was five. And looking to use up the rest of these shiners. But as you can see, the bubbler went bad on me. I should have got a new bubbler today. And that's what I'm working with. All dead all dead big shiners so unfortunate but hopefully I can make it work let's see I should be able to make it work we're gonna head over that way see was lurking near this dock again earlier when I was around here there was nothing so fish some fish might have moved in let's see Take it. Uh, yep, there he is. It's a small guy. Eh, nevertheless, still always a fun time. Always a fun time. Oh yeah, he's real, real pretty. Nice speckles. Okay. Well, that's fish number six. That's a, it's a good thing. Nice improvement there. that number seven number seven in the books okay okay all right all right all right calm down calm down calm down calm down calm down all right it's number seven in the books so not a bad day I'm gonna stay here for a couple more minutes See what else I can do. Oh yeah, he brought his buddies along with him right there. All right. Let's get number eight. There it is, number eight. Oh, yep, yeah. he's a better one. I'm well, about the same size. Oh, shook my shiner off. All in all, good fish. Might need the pliers for this one. Yep. So I'm over here by where I parked at and running out of shiners. So let's make these last few work. I haven't caught any other fish. I think I'm at like eight or nine. I think nine going for 10. Hopefully we can get 10 or a big one or any size, any size will do. There's one. Okay. I think that's number 10. Let's wear him out. Beautiful fish, guys. They fight so good. Should be able to end my shiners off right here. Wearing them out before I get them in. 
guys are so feisty. You know, this is a little peacock, but size to size comparison. Oh, he was barely hooked too. Size to size comparison, I'd say peacocks fight harder than large mouths. Size to size comparison. These guys are a lot more aggressive. This little one pounder fought like a two, two and a half pound large mouth. So it's always great. Let's, let's get him back. Let's get some more. Well, I'm hooked up on my last live shiner. I don't think it's a big one, but it'll do. Beautiful fish anyway. Yep. And that's what we got. Nice beautiful peacock here. Oh, oh, where are you going? Oh, let him wear him out a little bit. Oh, where are you going, buddy? <laughs> Alright, come on. It's time to come in. Nice, beautiful fish. I love the colors on these things. I really do. The colors are just no match. So, last fish for the day. I'll be out early in the morning tomorrow and get a full day of fishing in, hit, hit a few different spots. Well, day one of fishing was a success. Uh, been out here for about five hours. Caught, I think, 10, maybe 11. But either way, all in all, it's a great day of fishing when you catch, catch that many fish. So bright and early in the morning, I'm gonna hit some new spots. Probably, probably this one too, and we'll see if we can hook up one in the morning. So, day two down here in South Florida. Another beautiful day out here, of course. I'm gonna try to catch up on some biggins today. I've got some lures with me. I got a dozen of shiners. You guys know the routine. Got the spray can sunblock. Let's get it, dudes. Yeah, baby. See if we can hook up on one on the first cast, baby. I'm feeling it. I think they're gonna be very, very hungry today. And I'm excited for it. Just gotta wait on them. top of the mouth that's where you want it thank you for the fight first fish of the day what a beaut hey 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 just wanted to talk to him look at that baby that's a beautiful pattern right there excuse my language look at that Trying to get fish number two. These shiners I have are huge. So I just broke off because he got tied up around some rocks down there. But whatever. Just tied on another hook. I got plenty of them. And let's get some behemoths. Some hoochie mamas. Well, that looks like a nice peacock right there. Looks like a three pound peacock. 
Am I right? Oh yeah. I could be wrong. That, that looks like a three pound peacock. Oh, oh, he's looking at it. He's looking at it. Take it. Take it. Not you, turtle. Get out of the way. I think he's got it. Yep. I don't think it's three. That's a nice peacock. Oh yeah, that's a nice peacock. Oh no, that ain't even... That's not close to three, but beautiful peacock. I'll tell you one thing though. As I was saying earlier in the video, size to size comparison, peacocks fight harder than large mouse. And I, I love fishing for large mouse, but these these peacocks are just so aggressive and they fight so hard. This this little fish here, probably not even about a pound and a half fought like about a two and a half pound largemouth. Oh. Another one. Beautiful fish. Gotta love the colors on these things. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, let's get number three. Let's get number three on the board. I know they're eating today. Is that, all, is that one already? That's one already. As soon as I put it in. <laughs> let's, let's go. It ain't a big guy, but oh. He's a, nah, small. See, they just fight. They fight so hard, man. Oh, even the small ones, they fight so hard. So hard. Look at him. He's taking me under the dock. Oh, he spit my shiner. Well. It's fish number three on the board. Let's get some more. It's going to be a good day. I'm going to be out here for a while, so a lot of fish are going to be caught. All right, fish number three on the board. Let's get four, baby. Let's get some behemoths, some hoochie mamas. Come on. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Such a good day. Such a good day. A light breeze, not windy. Not too windy, just a real light breeze. And we're gonna put these. Something's hitting it. Something's got it. Yep. Oh no. Oh no. He got caught in the rocks. No. No. Oh no. All right, I'm gonna have to get over there. Take the shoes off, socks off. I'm gonna go land this fish. Oh, should've put my flip flops on. I'm walking straight on these rocks. I don't care. I'm landing this fish. Where is he? Where are you? Where are you? Where'd you get caught at? I think he's still on. Where is he? Come on, baby. Can't see him. He's deep down there. He felt like a nice fish. He's right over here somewhere, hooked on these rocks, down underneath this cliff. Come on, baby. Get yourself undone. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, I think I... 
think I messed up on that one. Try to get over here. Oh, no. Come on. What did he get? Tangled in the rocks or something? How did he do that? Ah. I don't know what to do. I can't get him. It's too deep down there. I would go in, but very deep. He's on. Uh, double, double up, us. double up. So I met up with some guys. I met on uh, Facebook fishing group down here in South Florida, and we're catching on to them yes. already. Beautiful fish. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Double ups. Give me a yeah. Nice, sure. nice. Let's see if we can get three. There was another one right down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. That was triple. Nice. Oh, nice. And there's more right there. Yeah. Look, there's a bigger. Oh, he came off, but there's a bigger everybody one right. Living here and there, I'd be, you would think everybody in their mind would be outside of the house doing this right now. Yeah, I know, and they never do. There was a bigger one right there. I have a, that one died because that fish just tore it up, but. He's going for it. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> missed him. I'm trying to use this dead one. Be right in the water. Yeah, that that's once we get around two, you'll see like the, it's just plenty of spots to just be able to get in the water and. See, I think it feels great because I'm coming from. Well, yeah, I, I, I believe like me, we can. Look at all of them down there. That yep. Crazy. Yep. Don't get it wrong, I like it. It's like this every time I come, and and there's definitely seven to eight pounders in here too. Monster Mike's pulled up some uh, big ones out of here. Huge ones out of here. I've only caught about a four pounder out of here so far, but I want some some large mouth. Got hooked up on another one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, back down to my last behemoth shiner. Let's see if it works. Hopefully it does. Then I'm switching to lures. So all the other shiners didn't give me too much luck. I only hooked up on three, lost lost like four, but I had huge shiners and None of the big ones were biting them, so I'm going to tie on some lures if none hits this last one. Well, that shiner got broken off on the rocks, so now I tied on a Z-Man cross-eyed chatterbait, and it should get the job done. It's pretty windy, so we'll see, and I'm feeling confident about it, so let's get them. See two peacocks down here. Let's see if they'll hit this chatterbait. Turtle's more interesting. Well, unfortunately, guys, couldn't hook up on any more fish. All in all, a great day. I was out here for eight hours and only hooked up on a few but all in all a great day a great weekend more videos coming soon hit that like button subscribe and share it goes a long way and i'll be back
with a lot more content.